Hi, hello, good day. Today, we'll be talking about where you can truly embrace your colony management skills by growing copious amounts of cocaine, harvest organs, and conduct human sacrifices to please your civilization, enslave a wanderer, and forcefully inject magic into his brain to make him become a battle wizard before selling them all on the market. Rim World, one of the only games where it's not a war crime if it's the first time. And today, we'll be doing a review, or rather, overview, why this game is so great. With it recently updating to 1.5 with the Anomaly DLC dropping next month, and with it feeding the dark horrors of the Rim with the gracious desire of human flesh, I figure it would be best as any to get started. So let's dig in. Rimworld has no story, and rather is the adventure of you making the story as you play. You'll pick from one of three storytellers to help shape your experience. Cassandra Classic is the standard storyteller that has the game progressively get harder as time passes with events growing in scale and difficulty. Though difficulty is subjective when my entire colony that was reliant upon solar panels is now covered due to toxic fallout. Phoebe Chillax is the definition of bipolar incarnate, lulling you into safety and prosperity before destroying your hopes and dreams within minutes. And Randy, Randy is out for blood and he knows it. He'll spawn events, good or bad, consistently to keep you changing how you play the game. There is no objectively right or wrong storyteller in this case, but it depends on how much pain you want and how quickly and what method you want it administered. You'll start with picking a scenario to enlighten your colonists with, perhaps a tribe of Neanderthals who learn how to build a spaceship from nothing and wear rags. A rich explorer looking to claim their stake on a rim world. Travelers awakening from stasis to sirens and chaos before landing on a new planet trying to get back to the stars. Or perhaps you're going in for facial reconstruction from your local alley doctor, only to awaken naked, missing a kidney and dropped on a rim world. Naked and afraid. Whatever your chosen scenario, you'll pick your storyteller, your planet seed, and where you choose to land that can range from a temperate forest to malaria time. Perhaps a soothing ice sheet bath or scorching hot desert. Finally, your colonists, which each have their own set of backstories for childhood and adulthood, preferences for skills, and proficiencies in others. While all have the capacity to grow into whatever you place them into, it makes far more sense to have a seasoned farmer maintaining the cocaine fields than the drug-addicted moron you picked up from the last raid that has no such desire. Each colonist also has traits that can be beneficial and useful, or be an inept mouth breather better served as organs to sell the local drug lord. Once you land in your desired location with your pick colonist, you'll begin to form the colony to your desires. Your colonists all have moods that must be maintained as well as their needs. You'll be under constant attack from your neighbors with raids from humans, furries, fire-breathing demons, and the robot hordes. If you somehow manage to survive the onslaught from time to time, you can focus on expanding your colony, grow rice, discover drugs, grow drugs and sell them for exorbitant amounts of cash, capture prisoners and harvest their organs, and chop them up to commit cannibal people jerky. If you couldn't tell, this game makes a monster out of you. It makes you become focused on the grind of money and power that turns you into a cartel that is determined to control the rim by any means necessary. You may ask though, what is the purpose? Why subject my colonists to crimes that would make the Geneva Convention a laughing stock at the International Criminal Court? Well, several in fact. Your ultimate goal is to escape the planet, and you have currently two means of doing so in the main game. The first is to build a ship that will take your colonists off the planet, which requires days and months of blood, sweat, and an overwhelming desire to throw the idiots out into the wasteland because they had a mental break and set your ammo stockpile on fire. The second is to embrace royalty and simp to your local liege lords, give them gold and slaves, and promote one of your colonists to become a redditor. The more honor they get, the more needy and bitchy they become. You'll be invited to join the Glitter World Society to watch mutants fighting in the arena and be treated like a true lord. There is, however, a third option. You know it. I know it. You don't want to leave. You want to embrace this society. This world. Embrace the ideology you slowly develop, become techno-messiahs, embrace technology, require that your eyes be gouged out and go underground, emerge years later, a society reborn and lay waste to the rim in nuclear fire and ash. Your society will survive. They will not. There are several hundred mods that RimWorld supports and allows you to customize the game pretty much any way you want. More storytellers, quality of life features, resources, armor, technology and vehicles, 
maybe you want to go backwards and play at high fantasy settings with magic and dragons. Mods allow you to customize the game however you prefer, and the developer is open to them all. So go on, get out of here, Rathscallion, and take that dive into digital heroin that is RimWorld. It's not Factorio, but it'll do. The game is on Steam if you want mods, but also available for PS4 and Xbox One. More fun to bring to the whole family. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a good one, lads. Attention, all RimWorld gamers. Randy Random, he's in great danger. He needs your help to wipe out Mufalo Raiders from the Mechanoid Hive. Yeah! Now to do this, he's gonna need human leather hat and a couple of nutrient paste meals. So, to help him out, come on, let's help him with our credit card number. Three digits on the back in the expiration month and year. So that Randy can help you harvest some organs and achieve that epic victory royale.